This is the daily video update for the Unitarian Church of Lincoln. Today's Thursday, September 24th, 2020. I'm the Reverend Oscar Sinclair. If we are hitting the six-month wall in this time of pandemic, it's also not really just about the pandemic. You know, last Friday afternoon, I sent in the last pieces for the worship service. I, uh, I had to record it several times and we had some recording trouble, um, which is why you didn't see a, a second angle in the sermon last Sunday. But I sent it in on Friday afternoon, ready to be done, um, ready to just step back and, and focus on spending time with my family. And then two hours later, we found out that Ruth Bader Ginsburg had died. And all of a sudden, I was back into it. It's not fair that we imbue so much meaning into the death of a single person. As one of my colleagues observed last week, it's, that's just too heavy a burden for any single life, no matter how exemplary, to hold. But it seems almost impossible to avoid that her death has taken an already tense season in this country and turned up the intensity even further. Because I am enraged by the hypocrisy of this presidency and this Senate. The, this rule of we have the power so therefore we can is antithetical to the ideals of our government and, and my faith that I talk about every day. Democracy works when we have a shared understanding of rules and, and norms and history does not have many good stories of what happens when those shared understandings break down, and, and I am worried that that's what's happening right now, and I am angry that that's what's happening right now. It is wrong, it is wrong, it is wrong. It disrespects the last wishes of Justice Ginsburg, and it's, it's hard for me to focus on much else right now. So, in addition to the wall of the pandemic six months in, I also find myself day to day just consumed with anger and despair over all of it, all of it these days. And my colleague, Sean Parker Dennison writes that we get it wrong always looking first for hope, for motivation, inspiration. The hope we need is on the other side of all we believe to be true. This is a weird year to be in the hope business because it is just not a year for optimism. And we get optimism and hope mixed up enough that it feels like maybe it's not the right year for hope either. But hope is an orientation of faith, not a calculation of odds. Faith, hope, and love, three virtues, all impossible without the others. Hope for me in hard times is, is this. Sometimes hope is not looking for distant horizons, or a dawn is breaking on a new day of promise. Sometimes hope is looking down at my feet and making sure I'm on solid ground and then putting the next foot out, one foot in front of the other, one day at a time. Right now, for me at least, that means not spending a whole lot of time imagining January. Well, the question is, what do we do now? What representatives can we call? What can I do to make sure that the world is a little better today? What do I need to get to tomorrow? What's the next right thing? And then the one after that. Because despair is highly dependent on scale. And hope. Hope can happen in the smallest of moments. It's Thursday at the Unitarian Church of Lincoln, which means that we will gather for worship on Zoom this evening. If the last few days of updates have spoken to you and where you're at right now, come join us. There is hope to be found in the community.